Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patricia Mkrina, as you already know. And if you didn't know, baby, well, now you know, okay? That's on period. That's on me, Shadow Lamb, okay? Period. So guys, for my returning subscribers, hello, hi, what do you do, baby? Thank you for choosing me once again, okay? And for my new subscribers, or like possible new subscribers, and those who are just stopping by to check the vibe, I hope you do like it and you do subscribe, okay? Period. So guys, before I start, disclaimer, this video is not um, an attack on anyone, it's not to bash anyone, it's not to badmouth anyone, um, I've moved from that current situation, moved on, and gee, it's just a story time, so please let's all be cordial and adults about this, so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way, and yeah, so today guys, our video is a story time, as you've seen by the title above. I finally gained enough strength. So, um, where do I start? Okay, so for those who don't know, I am currently, okay, not currently, but I stay in Peter Maritzburg. Ooh, Peter Maritzburg for studies, yes. I attend, okay, I'm not going to say where I go, but anyways, just so you get the gist of it, I am living in Peter Maritzburg, but I'm from Durban originally. Okay, shut. So, um, I met this guy. Um, okay, we must give him a name. What are you gonna name him? What are you gonna name him? Ugh. I don't wanna like Timber. Let's say his name is Timber. Okay, Timber is such a like ordinary name but anyways his name is Tim right okay shab so I met Timba off of like a friend of mine had posted on her story on her status actually on whatsapp she had posted a video of a guy in there I don't even remember what the like caption was like to be quite honest I don't remember but I remember witty like his smile just <sighs> you know I was just captured for those who know me like the girl he's on like the guys who know me like one thing about me i am attracted to like a gorgeous smile <sighs> i don't know i don't know what it is about it but anyways yeah so his smile just it captured me like wow okay so she had posted this video right and knowing me obviously i replied i was like <laughs> okay no i didn't say who's this but i was like oh my god this guy has such a gorgeous smile you know and then yeah that was that like a few minutes later she replies and she's like she's sending like a lot of emojis and screaming and whatnot and she's like oh my god you guys would look so cute together and i'm like well, when did we get there my sister sleep okay if you're watching this you know you know yourself okay so yeah um she she replied she was like oh my god you guys look so cute together um his name is timba this this and that and she gave me his instagram handle like i did not even ask for it but my sister gave me the instagram handle so yeah um obviously i went to go check out the guy like so i go on instagram and i check him out and he's cute whatever like he didn't have any posts he had like highlights and it, yeah yeah he had highlights and then knowing me once again i'm gonna reply over of something guys one thing about me if i like something i'm gonna get it okay period end of discussion like so yeah i reply off of this guy's um highlights one of his highlights he had put like a snap of himself so yeah i reply um, I said, I think I said the same thing like I said to Sli. I was like, um, wow, you have such a gorgeous smell. I was actually complimenting him. Like, some would say I was sliding. Like, some would say, you know, I was shooting my shot. I was genuinely just complimenting him. And he would always say that, like, when we would have this, like, conversation, be like, I'm the one who think he's you, not the other way around. I said, no, you were just complimenting me. I did all the hard work. I'm like, baby. If it wasn't up for me, we wouldn't be here, okay? But anyways, so I complimented him and he replied like a few hours later. And I was like, thank you, this, this and that. Um, we talked like for a while. Yeah, that was it. And then my friend, she said, no, he asked for my number. 
same day everything just everything was just quite fast you know asked for my number and i'm sorry guys if i like i'm not getting to the point but i just want to like everything everything you know in detail so yeah he asked for my number my friend sleeves like oh my god timba asked for your number oh my god i'm so bad at this but anyways timba asked for your number what like should i give it to him no why is him nigging it room nigga anyways so yeah we talk on the app the green app we talk kunga be in tenga in that kuben chin tenga in dawi to get me like how are you where are you from this this and that yeah won't you a few like a month or two months went after i posted like these cute snaps because i was at um some restaurant in athlone i think i vlogged that day. yeah i have a vlog up for that but anyways yeah i posted a cute snap looking nice and whatever and he was like um he said something like yes it's not funny line yeah something like that I was like, yeah, I mean, now it's your funny line. And I'm like, oh, oh, really? And then that's when, like, the chemistry started started getting to know each other and whatnot. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So, yeah. And then, fast forward a month later. Not even a month. Was it a month? Yeah, it was a month. I come back to Durban because we had planned to go out on a date. Oh, you know what? Cute stuff and whatever. So I come back to Durban, child. Because I want to see this man. Okay, period. And then um, I get here. The date was supposed to be on Saturday, right? So um, he he told me like um, his grand is sick and whatnot. So he can't make it. And I was actually so understanding. Yes, I was hurt. I was like, oh my God. You know, but I had to understand like your grand is sick. Do you get me? So I was like, okay, fine, cool. And then after that, like I just kept quiet. I didn't want to like raise the issue up again like when are we going out when am i going to see you because that was going to be the first time i was going to see him right sharp okay like because that was saturday sunday comes monday comes tuesday tuesday comes right yeah and then on tuesday he sends me a message because like we're talking but we're not talking about the date do you get me and he's like one day um do you want to come over and i'm like come over come over like come over i was really like okay but anyways i was like come over wait to your house and he was like no not my house um a friend's apartment like i don't know if he was chilling with his friends or he was living with his friend at the time i don't know what was the situation but like he had invited me over so like he told me that his friend was he was with his friend at his friend's apartment and it wouldn't be just the two of us like there'd be other people as well i don't want to call it like a party because it wasn't a party it was just like vibes do you get me his friend had his girlfriend over yeah well and she, it was just vibes so i'm like um child because i want to see this man do you get me like i'm gonna like at this point i'm like fuck it i'm gonna go but at first i won't lie i was kind of like a bit like why are you inviting me over to your place for the first time we meet shouldn't we be going out on a date because child one thing about me i rate myself quite hard do you get me so i was like this man really finna invite me over to his place for our first date clearly you don't rate me i will rate me clearly you don't rate me so i was like okay fine let me just go let me just go because i want to see this man you know okay shab and then um what happened like even like talking about this story i just get goosebumps because wow okay shab fast forward that was tuesday right fast forward wednesday thursday and then friday came the no thursday thursday night something happened thursday night okay so we're talking like as usual we always talk so we're talking we're talking and then like a sensitive issue comes up like we were talking about like tomorrow like what will happen and whatnot but like a sensitive issue comes up and you guys i swear when i say i fell in love with this guy that exact like that exact day i swear to god maybe falling in love would be a huge word like a, but i feel like something happened something just like that issue like that topic was very sensitive and the way he handled it and the way he talked to me jay 
I swear to God, I don't even remember who I was on a call with, but I called one of my friends because I was so nervous and like, oh my God, like, how is he going to respond to this, this and that, you know? But no, he handled the situation quite well. I can't get into detail about what we were talking about, guys, because it's very sensitive. It's a, like, you know, personal issue. But anyways, yeah, he handled it quite well, and I fell in love, I swear. I was shaking when we were having the conversation. I was literally shaking. I was here on my floor. I wasn't even on the bed. It was like 11 o'clock or something. I was on my floor when we had this call. Like, I was shaking. I'm sorry, guys, I can't get into the details. Like, it's juicy stuff. But no, so going here. But it was. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, okay, sharp. So the so that night, in I was over the moon. I was so in love. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to meet this guy. This, this, and that. You know, I was very really excited. I won't lie. So the following day comes, and Jay, guys, when I tell you, I was happy, cause like I was so shocked, like the way he handled the situation. I was G. I fell in love last night, you know. So now I'm gonna meet the man of my dreams, you know. Okay, shut So I woke up early. I was an early bird. I made breakfast for everyone here at home. The whole night, guys. I took a shower early. I was pampering myself. You're going to damn bed. <laughs> All right, shut Um, I woke up with a message from him. He was like, um, I just, um, I just stepped out of the house, but I'm going to tell you when I come back and whatnot. And I was like, okay, sharp, cool. I don't know, even know why he sent me that message, but he just felt like he should. And I was like, oh, like, I wake up and you're sending me messages early. Like, enjoy, you're thinking about me, you, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, and then, I mean, I did my usual hygiene process. All right, see, that baby shame time. Yo, gangi was cleaning, guys. I was natural, but like I was so pink. But anyways, sharp. Okay, I leave the house because um I had to start a pavilion with my aunt. I go to pavilion and he had okay. Wait, 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 wait. I need to mention another thing. So I told him he wanted me to stay over like till late, and I told him I can't do that because I have to be at my mom's that day. I don't know how to explain the situation, but anyways, I told him that I couldn't stay late. I could only stay until like past six or seven. Yeah. And then I, yeah, 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 yeah. So I told him, at like two o'clock and then I'm going to come over to your place. Sharp. Okay. So he yeah, I'm going to pair with my aunt. She drops me off. Um, we did what we needed to do at the pavilion. And then I took an Uber to where he was. So I'm just going to say the area because... I don't think anyone will connect the dots. So the place was in Bria. The apartment was in Bria by Musgrave, right? Shab call. And then so Timba, um, I sent Timba a message. I'm like, babe, I'm on my way. Tell I'm I'm in the Uber when I'm sending this message, right? Hi babe, I'm on my way. Um, yeah, that's all I sent. And he sends me a message that second, like that instant, and he's like, um, Wait, no. I swear to God. I was like, wait, no. What do you mean? Wait, no. He was like, wait, no. Um, I haven't gotten back to the house. Um, yeah, something like that. I haven't gotten back to the house. I don't remember, guys. Like, this was like a year ago. And he was like, yeah, um, I haven't gotten back to the house. I'm, I'm going to tell you when I'm back, though, so you can come. And I'm like, ah, okay. So now the problem is that I'm already in the Uber. What the fuck am I going to do? And I was like, you know what? I told the driver to change the destination and I just went to Musgrave Mall. Because it was like literally a two minute distance from the apartment. So yeah, I changed the destination and I went to Musgrave Mall. So sharp, ne? Okay. So that was like at two o'clock past two. I get to the mall at like three, twenty to three. But I got at the most right about like three o'clock sharp. And then um, he's quiet this whole time. And I'm also quiet because like he told me that he's going to tell me when I should come. So I'm waiting, you know, I don't want to be a nag. And then shout three. Okay. No, shout three. I'm busy like window shopping. Uh, I remember I went to La Visa. Shout three. Okay where are you like the first 30 minutes i was like 
nah he's gonna call me babe come sharp hi show three show past three so it's been like 40 minutes and i'm waiting i'm like what is going on and i don't even want to ask bruh like because he told me like i'm gonna tell you when to come do you get me so me shh shy for I was here. I was here. Yo! 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 <laughs> I went to. I remember I was in the mall. I, I was going to get busy, window shopping and whatnot. I went down by Pick and Pay. There's like a stand there. I got something to eat. So I'm just busy trying like to pass time, you know? I'm really fancy. Like. <sighs> Guys, like, I was so annoyed i was here when i say i was here okay sharp show you four show past four i'm still waiting no but at past four i remember i was like okay i'm selling deal again saying in the look for this is cat it corner a car and getting a jump is so good how to tell we are happy about bang and you are going to share that i'm going to give me because i'm coming go to the fair lap and go past two saying i'm going to pass four it doesn't make sense you know so like and it's a little when saying in the looting release is come it's cut so again a jump is same viable shall i pass four shall five guys who shall i oh five in your business zazila zazila that i'm fun all right so shall i five okay and i'm like okay sing your amber munch sing your amber sing your amber munch like I tell myself a mental note, I'm like saying yeah, I'm Okay, shall I 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 past five? I stand up, cause that's been what? I'm feeling past two, la paya. Past three, past four, past five. Three hours in Tagama. And I leave. I'm so good. I leave. So at Musgrave, those who know, he exits, he has a he it's like on the second floor, if not the third, no, it's the second floor. So, so go miyama, guys, and get a poem, get it, and get it, so chigala, so go miyama, guys, hey, boom, get a man, see, I'm fine, no message, haven't sent me any message, the last message he sent me was, I'm gonna tell you when to come, so I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Guys, I, when I tell you, Uti, as I'm about to leave the mall, as I'm about to leave, like, boom, you get a message. Ding, 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 ding. Guys, the iPhone is going to be a message. Uti. Um, babe, I'm sorry. Um, uh, what did he say? He said, first, first message was, babe, I'm sorry. Yo, guys, my grand is annoying. Shh. Jeez. But anyways, so I'm getting a message. Bing, 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 bing. Babe, I'm sorry. Um I, I I got I got held up. My cousin got kidnapped. Yawale! Yawale! My cousin got kidnapped. I love la la la. I like angas. Babe, my cousin got kidnapped, so we get, had to go look for her. Imla's. I'm like, I'm like, cousin got kidnapped. Imla's. I'm like, come see the lame scream. It does not make sense. When I tell you, I'm going to allow my message. I went home. Guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm Hi. The whole way home, the whole way home, guys, I was holding back my tears. I swear to God. Like, I was holding back my tears. Number one. I fell in love with him soon. <laughs> Number two. I got stood up. Number three. The excuse just does not make sense. You know? Like, but anyways, I shut Guy... Um, I, I ignored him. I had nothing to say to him. Literally nothing. Switch off my phone. The whole way home, I couldn't breathe. Everything was just overwhelming. I swear to God. When I got home, 
Um, yeah, so, so the, yeah, guys, I got stood up. I could not believe it. <sighs> like the first time I'm going to meet you and you're going to do me like this. Okay, so I did not answer any messages that day. The following day, um, I wake up to messages from him. He's like, um, babe, I'm sorry. You can still come though. And I'm like. Who can still come? Me. Are you talking to me? Like, cause I'm the only one around here. So you must be talking to me. Like, I was like, what? Are you mad? I did not respond. When I tell you I did not respond, I did not respond. I remember I wanted to like spite him, do something that would piss him off. So I, I remember I asked one of my friends to send me um video yeah that would shake him you know guys i'm one thing about me i'm a spiteful per no i'm not a spiteful person but you wrong me i'm wrong you back so that was pity of me but i don't care because i got what i wanted from him i got the response that i wanted from him so i posted this video guys ki ki me in an amg well it wasn't me but it was a video like the people who saw the video assumed that I, me, I'm in the AMG. Okay, G, we're going style. You get me? All right. So I posted the video and I didn't even put any captions. I just posted the video alone. Guess what he said? He responded, wow. Now, I'm put lap on your zip. Because then it's only a very irresponsible thing. That's the following day, like at night, right? Sharp. And then I reply, I'm like, What's wow, Timba? Yeah, I remember I said that. I saw no Timba, just the whole. So we come around. What's wow, Timba? And he was like, um, it's just so crazy to me how I'm trying to make it up to you, like, um, and you minding me. You're not responding to any of my messages. Now you're in, you're in G wagons. I'm like, as in Shiaji, as in Shiaji. I was like, yeah. That's what you get for messing with a boss bitch. Okay, period. So anyways, yeah. I deleted the video because I got one I wanted from him. But anyways, yeah. So what happened after that? I was like, what are you trying to make up for the following day? Your excuse is rubbish. He told me that his cousin got kidnapped and they had to go look for her in Lazi. Which I did not believe. Like, I didn't tell him that I didn't believe this, but I was like, okay, Shab, your cousin got kidnapped. But why couldn't you call me and be like, okay, babe, we have to postpone, like, do this another day. Why? What was so hard? Like, that was, that was what made me so pissed. Like, you couldn't call me to tell me, Uti, babe, I'm not going to be able to make it. Do you get me? Instead of me sitting and waiting for you for hours, three hours, Oaks, three hours, yo, I'm not doing that. I remember I cried. I cried. At some point, I cried when I was back at home. Yonda, Lila, Gakala, guys. But anyway, yeah, the guy is not no longer in my life because we can't deal with trash oaks. Like, no. He didn't rake me. Like, you made me wait for three hours. Oh, you don't rake me. Yeah. He called me, tried explaining himself. He sounded so sincere. That's the one thing about that guy. That guy had a way to persuade you. Yo, I don't even remember what happened. But I remember that I got back with him. Broke up again. Got back. It was such... Uh. But yeah, guys, that was my story of how I, this baddie, got stood up. hope you enjoyed this video guys because i did not enjoy telling the story because it's such an embarrassment but like anyways life goes on i'm still that pretty b okay period he told me life lessons that's one thing about me i'm gonna learn i'm gonna learn from a situation and it's never gonna happen again okay period bye guys <laughs>